What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game of here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Dangar for 2, Goodbye Despair, and in this last episode, uh, we got to hang out and do the fourth area of the game and uh, explore it all, do its stuff. Now we have to go to the fun house. So, uh, you know, it's fine. Hi, Gundam. How do you feel about this? <laughs> the matter of action, the more interesting it is. That train, it doesn't look like it's as fun as Saves the World comes. Well, I guess I gotta find out this in the fun house. Is it worth it? You're feeling the excitement of this attraction, aren't you? Hiko. This is bad. This is definitely a trap. Is this really okay for if we just jump in without preparing? But the only thing we can do, right? That's definitely something that's past the point. Just like you said, we don't have any time to just stand and stare. We don't. Which is why I talk to Mekamaru and then leave. Oh. Leave Kajuichi to me. I'll make sure to keep his eye in my his eye, or I'll make sure to keep him in my clutches this time around as well. Cool, because Kazuichi's annoying. Oh, I didn't mean to talk. Let's hurry up and go. Looks like the answers here, wait, looking for where on this train, where is where this train is headed. I just need to get on this train, right? No way. Well, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, or fly, or anything else. Hey. I I'm gonna believe you this time, no matter. So you better be telling the truth. All right, All right let's go. Chugga, 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 chugga. As we all stepped in on the small train, it finally started moving. And we went inside the gym tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse. Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory. Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. What the hell? Is this gas? Damn it. This is definitely a trap. As soon as the white smoke surrounded us, our body started to feel soft and like molasses. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a muddle of pot or a, a puddle of mush, and in the end, we lost our consciousness. Whoa! This is like strawberry pink guess. Ah! Uh, uh, when I woke up, it was some place that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place that I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I was not able to react right away. Where is this? However, I looked over at Nekamaru, standing tall in a, standing tall in a wide stance. My sense of reality felt even hazier. Man, I slept good. Oh my. Huh? Where are we? What? What the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began surrounding me one after another. Seems like the others have started to wake up as well. Why was I sleeping in a place like this? Good night. Oh well. I should go back to sleep a little That's while. Obviously no, you don't. You seriously can't do that. Did you do what you I assume that this was the what the gas is doing. Damn it. The gas we were forced to breathe right before the train started moving, and it must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? I see. In that case, this must be the interior of the funhouse. Welcome! Welcome to the strawberry house. Strawberry house? Isn't this a fun house? Yep. Of course it's a fun house. Strawberry house is part of the fun house. Uh, a part, you say? Allow me to explain. This is the strawberry house in the in, in its entirety. You currently are in are at the indoor park located on the third floor. As you can see, there's a playground equipment and with strawberry designs. How fancy! Now then, next is the second floor. This is a lounge that's perfect for freshening up, and I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like boom! The guest rooms are divided up by equal or by quality grade. The Lux room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room is so so insulation, but it's pretty decent. And the Karumi rooms have severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes the explanation of the second floor. Last but not least is the first floor of the strawberry house. On this floor, th this is called the final dead room. That's all, like boom! You can enter the final dead room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the diffi that difficulty setting. On the same floor is a hallberry called Strawberry Hall. And it, when you pass through it, there's a truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with a boom boom. It's called Strawberry Tower. Please make use your own two feet 
to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all use your own two feet and explore the inside of the building. That's all from me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey. Hell yeah, we're, we have questions, obviously. Really, really? What's your important question? To bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do this time? That's right. That's right. I have a lot of questions, but let's start with the first one. Um, I didn't explain that to ya. <laughs> this is the motive this time. Yeah. An escape game. Escape game? This concept is called... Or the concept this time is... A closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hope Peaks Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. Hey, um... There's only one way to get out of this closed building. Viva! When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. <laughs> let the escape game begin! Huh? Whoa, 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 what? What the fuck? We can't get out until the next killing happens. This is troubling. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. How foolish of me! If only I erected a magical barrier that would have, would have had us breathe in that gas. Mm. I let my guard down, and I ended up falling for the trap. Hey! Like, why would even, or why would gas even work on a robot that's supposed to be when you make your move? Gas yeah, shouldn't pose a problem, but if they activate my sleep mode, I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode. Oh. That's right. In a cutting edge fashion, that puts my other functions to sleep, and I haven't even have insomnia. Um, just press a good night button on my back, the back of my neck, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What's the point of that function? <laughs> Didn't I just tell you it puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia? Hey, hey. Do you even need sleep? <laughs> In order to wake it from sleep mode, I just need to set my alarm, the, the alarm in my chest. It's possible with just one touch. Jeez. Damn it, he's not even listening. Help. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can. Such a sad nature of robotic organisms. Man. At any rate, Monica was sure stuffed him with a lot of useless feet functions. Mm. Anyway, Mechamaru must have lost consciousness became because his button was pressed. Damn it. What a blunder. I, he must have taken advantage of that white smoke that was around me. I'll never let that happen again. Hey. For now, why don't we look for an exit? But... Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass. What are you giving up for, dumbass? If we were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit somewhere. Amazing. Amazing. A heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with the, the map we got. Well? But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up some with someone. Damn right. Then Akane, you're coming with me. Huh? Well, that's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be... Huh? It's nothing like that, you idiot. There's just something I wanted to talk to her about. I don't mind. Whatever. Fine. Well. Wow, when you two stand next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. Bastard! Drop it, bastard! You. Hey, if you were gonna go, then let's hurry up and go. Damn right. All right, then we'll go ahead. And, uh, we'll go ahead on first. Without parting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we also. However. Sonia's already left with Gundam. Oh my. Huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, I see you got dumped. Idiot, I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true. Now then. Now then. It, I think it's time for me to get going too. Hey. So, Chiaki would be... Would you like to go together? Huh? Me? Yep. I haven't really had the chance to talk to you, so I thought it would be a great opportunity. No! No! No, that means we're stuck with Kazuichi. That means we're going to be stuck with Kazuichi. For now. Then, take me with you too. Three people is okay, right? Huh? Huh? That's fine, but... <laughs> oh, I get it. Kazuichi's trying to avoid Hajime. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! What are you talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's something like that. What, what do you mean? Well... Call it a hunch. Maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor. What? <laughs> uh, I was just... I just said how Kazuichi was feeling, that's I all. Mean... Well, you know, the truth is, is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault that I don't trust you. What, what does that even mean? We've been together this whole time, and you still don't know who I am? Obviously wrong. Like that matters. I, I, it's not like I know the real you. 
Just like how we didn't know anything about Mekon. The real Mekon. And the only reason that we're here is because you were the one who suggested to go to the funhouse, right? Are you saying that I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? Right. It's not that far fetched, you know. Uh. I'm sorry, Hajime. I really want to trust you, hmm. but I can't just yet. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either. But you're saying Nagito is more trustworthy than me. What the actual hell? Damn it, why would this happen? Yep. If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Kazuichi? Hmm. Uh, but it's fine, Chiaki. Just go. Yep. Got it. I'll see you later. With that, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Nagito left all together to explore the area. Huh? I guess we're the left. Yo! I'm actually a lot more happy about this. Okay, I, I shouldn't be. I but yes, me and Ekamaru are together then. Looks like we're not very liked. <laughs> I'm not complaining like about it. It'll change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not the traitor her. Oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. I'll show you everything. Everyone else, the value in the leftovers. Let's magnificent. Let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, we, it'll solve everything, right? When people stop trusting you, it seriously does suck. I get a whole chapter with Nekabaru! Guys! It's not 100% what I would want. Because I'd rather him be human and just have, like, interactions by ourselves with no consequences. But, we can still talk as friends let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands if we do that it'll solve everything yes let's figure that out no matter where i look every area is decorated with strawberry patterns i don't ha hate strawberries but if these patterns continue i might start getting sick Ooh. according to the monokuma map the only thing on the third floor is the park we are currently at and it looks like we don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> Just so you know how you may, how she may, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about the soda fountain? I don't really want to drink anything that comes from his, out from his eyes. Yeah, out from his eye. Good call. According to the map, there should be guest rooms in the lounge on the second floor. All right, I shall explore the guest room in the lounge. Is The lounge is all for you. Got it. Guest room. Strawberry candy. Interesting. Lounge this way. Oh, hi. Hmm. So this is the lounge? It's also completely covered in strawberries. It's going to be difficult to relax in here. I guess for now I should look for things I might be able to use. Ah, there's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. I'll be able to call somewhere with this. When I walked over to the telephone, I immediately noticed it. What is this? Instead of numbered buttons, it's just a single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Sounds like it's connected to somewhere, but no one's picking up. Let me tell you. Yes. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like it's a regular telephone. But doesn't it, it doesn't work like a normal telephone. And I don't know where it's connecting to. This too Jeez, what's going on? My four, far dark, my four dark davids of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing note to, re to report. Hey, why have you given up? There's still maybe something on this floor that we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. So too soon to give up. Good. To your discretion. All right, I should be trying to exploring the first floor. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that's it. Just the telephone. Okay. Hi, buddy. I'm going to the first floor. Okay. Pick the deluxe room for us. We definitely need those soundproof walls. Um. Because he loud as fuck. Um, when there wasn't anything terribly important on the third floor. Or, or the second. But it doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Hi, Nekamaru. <laughs> oh, 
everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to the quit quieter or like to a quitter like me. Someone like me. I'm so terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with so everyone like this. Final dead room. This door. It gives us a completely different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. Allow me to explain. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by the headmaster Madakuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon with fabled by the holy land of the ultimate weapon where the, where the holy land of the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, you're facing feeling here if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Life threatening game. What the hell is that? What did he say? I can just obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid? Who the hell is gonna do that? I see, this is the strawberry hall. Seems like this place is also filled with strawberries. What a creepy looking hallway. As I recall, strawberry tower is on the other side of this door, right? According to the map, this is correct. However, in order to... This order is all wrong. It obviously makes more sense to finish investigating the first floor. Uh, before going to the other areas. I get it. I don't need you to raise your voice so suddenly. It's bad for my heart. God, that's just sarcasm towards me. Is that just sarcasm towards me having no heart? There's no way I'm going to let you bring me down. You seriously don't feel down, huh? Damn, you got no heart anymore. What a sad, sad, sad thing. What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. No, I was just thinking, why strawberries? Huh? Hmm, why is that? Mm. Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too. E or even fruits like peaches or apples. Yeah, uh, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then why a strawberry? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Yeah. What was this conversation just now? Honestly, I feel the same. What was that conversation? It was a Chiaki conversation. The fun and quirky conversations, which I adore. Ah, this isn't it. Isn't this an elevator? But what's weird is only this. there were only stairs between this building's second and third floor. Does it mean that there's a basement? There's a button next to that door. A great image, the same as the button on the lounge telephone. What'll happen if I press this? So without really thinking, I tried pressing the button, but it's not reaching at all. It's all out of order. I don't really get it, but it looks like an elevator isn't usable. What is it, Hayame? Did you find something? The, that final dead room sounds suspicious, but going inside, it might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening huh? game. It's not even worth playing if you... If all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Now then. <clears throat> the other should be at Strawberry Tower at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Show some spirit. Let's get going already. We, we were just going there, Nekomaru. But you said no. You said we had to check out this elevator that did nothing. <clears throat> There's no door now. There's no way we can open the door like this. Maybe we just press a button next to the door? You know, the one that says open written on it? <laughs> I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. I, wait. Seriously? Huh? Anyway, I just pressed the button. Then Nekomar raised his arm, right arm vigorously, slammed the button more times than he needed to. So this is Strawberry Tower, huh? The building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus, the ceiling is so high, you, I can't really make it out. Jeez. Jeez, more of this bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are in, intentional. That's right. This is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why? Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? There's a huge door in the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, it's an image. Doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone and the one on the, and also the one that we found near the first floor elevator? Oh. Perhaps this door might be the exit, huh? huh? Exit. Take a look at the map we see received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing drawn on the other side of that door. Now, does that mean that the exit is on the other side of this door? <laughs> Therefore, we must try to confirm this by opening the door. Nekomaru let out a battle cry and grabbed the doorknob tightly with both hands and attempted to pry the door open. However, 
Clatter, clatter, clatter. God, what does this mean? This doorknob won't budge. Not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, shit. It appears locked, right? Show some spirit. <laughs> In that case, I shall use my full power. With a fearsome roar, Echo Maro pulled all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands, but clatter, 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 clatter. <laughs> Uh, not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower. Wait. Isn't it... Wait. Isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Uh, would that be bad? So, so shouldn't we discuss this with everyone first before you attempt to force your way through? Hmm, you have a point. Very well, then. Even though the door would have opened as soon as... Soon, I'll give it a rest. Then let's go back to the strawberry house and discuss it with everyone. If, they li if they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Oh, shit. Hmm. Is it me, or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Oh, hi, Monokuma. It looks like everyone's causing a scene. Even Monokuma is here. Did something happen? I was trying to talk to Monokuma. Hiya. Yo, uh, how are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Huh? Strawberry House's side? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there's other buildings. Of course. That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator. Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Hey, hey. Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think it moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along the rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right, to the Grape House! Huh? Grape House? Hey, um... The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See well, we can worry about the details when we get to the Grape House. I'll be going ahead. Huh? I, I don't get it. He just wanted to tell us to go to the grape house this time, right? Um, then we must ride this elevator, right? Are we screwed? Well, what should we do? Show some spirit. We have to go for it. The only way we can overcome the situation is to make a move. I mean... But still, you know. <laughs> what, you scared? Of course not. Hell no. Why are you saying this in front of Sonia? Huh? Fine, I'll freaking go. Huh, <laughs> not scared at all. Well, I have a bad... I don't have it as bad as Kazuichi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand here and do nothing. All right, let's go. I pressed the button, the, the great button, next to the door, and it immediately opened. We stepped onto the elevator and went to the grape house. Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that would be awesome. Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is possibly a really high-performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Hmm. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open the door and make sure. You cannot. That is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we have arrived at our destination. So this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I'm already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but also this is unpleasant. Welcome. Okay, welcome to the Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. Ta-da! This is Grape House in its eternity. So let's start by explaining the first floor. Um, aside from the fact that there is no final dead room, it's basically no different than the Strawberry House. Just like there is a Strawberry House over there, there's a Grape Hall on this side. When you get through Grape Hall, that means there's a Grape Tower. The second floor is the same as the Strawberry House. I prepared five guest rooms of different types along with a relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor, the Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and the contributions, feel free to study the literature in there. Hmm. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it would be difficult to understand if I just explain it with words. So you should all go explore the Grape House with your two feet. Hmm? That's all for me. Any questions? Like like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Huh? huh? Is that necessary? Hey. What are you saying? Of course it is. <laughs> but it's supposed to be an escape game. How can there be any tension if there's no time limit? Yippee! 
So I've decided to use your stomachs as the time limit. Oh. Don't tell me. What do you mean? In other words. Well, simply put, yeah. it means killing somebody before you starve to death. Lies. Well, what the heck? <laughs> if you plan to kill someone, I highly recommend it. you make your kill as soon as possible. <laughs> It'll be too late if you get weak and have no energy to kill. Hey, hey hold on. So starved. Damn it. How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Uh, is he serious about there being no food? No way! That's not one thing I- that is one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat, but just let me eat already! Yeesh. As soon as I learned that there was no food, she was- she, As soon as she learned that she was no food, there was no- uh, She was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. But at least try to stay calm now that you have- Now is not the time for you to panic. Well- being loud isn't going to help us either, so for now, you should explore the inside of this building, too. Right. After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Uh, yeah, that's right. All right. Then let's get started. The same pairing as before was is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. This time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Sonia. Yeah. She, she already left with Gundam, dude. Hmm. Looks like you're being avoided, not even just rejected. Hey. Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. Akane, you too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore the grave house. Then. Now then, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with the grave house. Hmm, so you're saying that we should start with the most suspicious place. All right, then let's start with grave tower. Let's start with grave tower. Anyway, let's find an exit. Damn it. There's no way I'm going to let myself starve to death in here. Grape Towers. Beyond this door, right? Just like Strawberry Tower, or Strawberry Hall, all I need to press this button. Show some spirit. All right, leave it to me. Nekomaru raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button. More times than he needed to begin. It's not opening. Huh? That's weird. When we did that at Strawberry Hall, when we were at Strawberry Hall, this should have opened. Don't tell me. It's out of order. Fine. Time for it to break down. Well, obviously, it shouldn't. Good job. Hmm, did you hear something? Then when Nekomaru started... That's when Nekomaru started shouting. The door opened. But... What was the pause just now? Why did the door open right away? I see. Oh, so this is Grape Tower. Mm, the structure of this building doesn't seem to have doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. This building seems like a, the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. <clears throat> However, the wall is green, the Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Well, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. Yeah, the door. You know this could be like an elevator that goes up and down between the places, and like the per, the like color the projection on the grape tower the door at the far back there's a strawberry image over there a strawberry door inside the grape tower that sounds complicated it's the exact opposite of strawberry tower as i recall there should have been a grape image on the far back of the tower so on strawberry side there's a grape door and on grape side there's a strawberry door that's even more complicated. <laughs> However, this time, this door might connect to the outside. It's not going to. I see. It's obvious by looking at the, this map, since there's nothing far beyond the grape house. <laughs> if so, the only thing we can do is to try it. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it might be pointless to even try, I think. What, what did you say? Before we get to that... Why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you supposed to be with Nagito and Kazuichi? Mm. It, it's exhausting being around those two. Facts, girl! This is like the S-tier trio! Come with us! Uh, S-tier's all the way! Me, you, Nagito. Let, that's the power group right there. S so you ran away. Well? Huh. Um, that door doesn't lead to the outside. I think it's just a pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Definitely, you say? It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. 
I think I found out the secret of the funhouse and structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention. Each house's relationship is... Or to each house's relationship to its respective tower. Hey, hey. Try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is to your left hand, right side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? See? On the other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, it's... From the elevator, Grape Hall is to your right hand side. And if you walk along it, you end up to Grape Tower, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Now here comes the main point with those two buildings. Yeah, so my thought process, so Chiaki's gonna get to it and probably explain it, but this was my thought process and what I was talking about exactly, was that the, uh, your elevator is in an L, in the shape of an L, right? And so when you go into the shape of an L, then this floor is on two different floors. Whoa! Awesome, you're here all along! Oh my god, Kazumi, she stopped. Hey, hey Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. Hey. You disappeared so suddenly, I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito. You. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagito. Yeah. Uh, was that annoying for you? That's right. Hell yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone with that creep like you. This is troubling. I see. So it's not just Hayame. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey. Uh, are you going to be okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Well, Shut up. yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigation would take more time. Well, yeah. There aren't many areas to search, and we couldn't find any good clues. Right now, the only thing I found out is I... there's seriously no food anywhere, and this isn't funny at all. Damn it. I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, we, we, why don't we, you know, the hamster's Gundam carries around? You, you imbecile. What are you implying? Ah! I'm sorry. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonia. If you had gotten your hands on my four part dark demons of destruction, your body would have incinerated to hellfire. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? I shall engulf this world. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in the Strawberry House indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark demons of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that. Oh. Now then, listen to your reports and see what you, can, you guys can find. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue to talk, but oh well, I should listen to what everybody has to say. Now then. It's fine. Is it fine if Gundam, Fujiko, and I represent our team and give out the reports? Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> hmm, rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that your friends will be happy to hear about. Of course. Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think, I think their priorities are off slightly. Let's talk to Chiaki more. Cause... Ah, fine. All right. Talk to Gundam about it. What does Sonya think about these reports are supposed to be about? Okay. See, now then, I shall present to you with my discovery. Let me tell you I won't let you this. say such nonsense. I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the fun house. Hey, hey. Could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi and you lowly humans. Yeah. Fall on your knees and show your gratitude to me and the overlord of the ice that of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Whoa. Behold, a monitor. It's a sh or a motor. It's a ship part. Based on its extremely small size, isn't that... <laughs> That's just a radio-controlled toy! Allow me to tell you a little old story. It, I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody ever bought me a toy before. Uh, but I believe it is truly remarkable. Shut up. Shut I'm not asking about that. You mean the ship part you found was just some radio-controlled toy? <laughs> you totally got tricked. I never said a single word about the ship being real stupid idiot moron. Looks like we don't have, don't even have the strength to get upset. Hmm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it's definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about the, our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting grim. I can't really focus on that right now. Back to Chiaki. Who really matters in this case? 
Fine. Whatever. Now then. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone must Since be. I'm the one who made the discovery, it's just as important as I am. No good at Which all. means it's not that important at all. Hey, bastard. Just hurry up and say it already. Um, well, it's about that third floor of the Grave House. See? As you remember what Monokuma said about the Monokuma archive on the third floor, I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was full of the stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. Hmm. Then it took, looks like we don't need to even go in there ever. Actually. Oh, uh, also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma Archive. A lost child? What? Huh? Where did she go? Hey! Hey, don't just hide. Come on out. <laughs> Hello. So the lost child was you. Right? Right! That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how the, you all would react. It's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. <laughs> how sad. It is so sad that to get used to it. She seems a little tense. Um, um did Monica bring you here as well, Monica? <laughs> yes, and I'm ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. No. I am a failure as a teacher, and I have no right to guide you, everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. <laughs> but I'm honestly happy you're here. Huh? Hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you that's still rabbit meat? No. Am I expected to be food? Probably. Poor Monica. Shiver, 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 shiver. I feel like Connie's feral stare, and it's like being licked from head to toe. But I feel it's kind of good. <laughs> what am I saying? That is not okay. Don't misunderstand it, okay? Oh. Connie, I don't think Monami is edible. Yeah. How do you know? You won't, we won't know unless we try. Okay. No, I definitely will not end up... I definitely don't want it to end it this way. Okay. Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you in case. The second floor of the Grave House is also as guest room, similar to the ones in the second floor of Strawberry House. <laughs> but instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape ones instead. Also. Like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone at the lounge too, but however, instead of the grape button, there's a strawberry that was on the, uh, the grape button on the phone of the strawberry lounge. There's a strawberry button in the foam of the grape lounge so they connect to each other so you can cross talk between the rooms now i'm just guessing at this point but it's possible we can use these two phones to communicate with each other yeah that's what oh, i was thinking sure. too so the picture on the buttons shows where the phone connects to the picture on the buttons shows where each one connects to that's probably it hey hey um that was the last report right then is it okay if i go now this is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the fun house? Let me ask. The structure of the fun house? Well, well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we are currently standing in the strawberry tower we were in earlier. I think they're actually the, the same building. Yeah, yeah, that's, I'm taking that too. The two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see, so what makes you think that? See? Their positions. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left. And when you get back to the facing the elevator, right? Mm -hmm. Then inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right. When your back is facing the elevator, right? Then, and so, if we think about it, then those two are together. Mm -hmm. The two towers are in the same building and each house connects to the center. And that building structure, that's the building structure that comes to mind. Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But that might be a possibility. Come on, let's take a look at the door. Isn't that the strawberry image on the, is the same one as the, or on the elevator and the telephone? Then it, in the same way, wouldn't that image also on the door also be showing where it least leads to? If that's the case, it would mean that the strawberry house is beyond this door with the strawberry image on it. Mm -hmm. As well as the opposite, the grape door 
that was on at Strawberry Tower would lead to Great House, meaning that we opened Great Hall's door when we came in here. So... Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps. Which means, when you look at the other side of the Grape Hall door that we use to come in here. Yep. Yep, the Grape picture should actually be on here. Hey. Then we gotta confirm it, right? If we can close the door from the other mm. side. Hmm, that might be impossible. Huh? Impossible, why? Well, Hayame and Nekumaru were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? Oh. What's wrong with that? Well, when you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a while for the door to open? Um, uh, after you pressed the button? Huh? Mm. So, just as I assumed. How did you know? Um. When I was walking around myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I It felt like there was something I missed when I suddenly, Strawberry Hall automatically closed in front of me. The door automatically closed. Yep. And afterwards, no matter how much I pressed the button, the strawberry house door wouldn't open. Um, but why? Perhaps. The door is also strawberry top the doors to strawberry tower and grape tower must be designed so that only one can be open at a time. See? I mean if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. So if it happens and if that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Then the reason that Strawberry Hall's door automatically closed in front of you so what I mean was because is... we opened the door to Grape Hall? When that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because it was waiting for Strawberry Houses to close. If we think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like, like you're saying that all this stuff I don't get, but you aren't, aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls of Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? There's no way that they can be the same building. You don't know? You didn't notice? There are just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. Yeah! Okay, so I did see that. Okay. They're reflecting a colored light under the white wall. It makes it look like the color has changed. Wait. Then, what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Um. Maybe the floor is just a, maybe the floor is just a screen and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look closely, it's not a picture that is actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see. Then it's safe to say that they're the same building, right? But, but this is a very important problem. So it better, it's better if we test it out. Test? Um, For example, we should leave something behind here and s then we all go to Strawberry right. Tower. And if it's still there, we can conclude that they are the same building, right? Let's see. Want me to stay then? Hold on. No, that is impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? The countless sensors plastered over the tower's walls and floors? <laughs> Why can't you notice them? Hey, hey. I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess is that the, that the sensor can detect any movement within the tower. Mm. Then when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew that would that there'd be something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? Mm. It's a quite high performance. It seems like you can de detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Huh? Then it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey. What about Nekamaru? He's a heartless robot. Yeah. I have a motor running inside me. It is as good as any human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? Jeez. Like I said, if I seize all functions with I see, seize all functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't, won't detect it. But you need to. Do you need to go that far to test it? I will not. Won't tolerate any robo prejudice. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Mm. And once I've entered sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until my good night switch is pressed again. Or if the chest alarm goes off. <laughs> a little concerned about being left alone in that state. You insolent fool. It is far too dangerous. Even as an experiment, it is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? My student e-handbook. I'll leave this handbook here and we'll all move to the Strawberry Tower. And if by chance the handbook is still there... We can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? You're right, let's try this. We left behind Chiaki's handbook and went right away, then left a grape tower and made our way to Strawberry.
And in the next episode of Day and Ropa 2, Goodbye Despair, we will be going to uh, Strawberry Tower to see whether or not Shiaki's Handbook is there. Love you guys, and see you guys next time. Bye!